How's it going guys? Back at it again with Wrist Garage. Got the Camaro just hanging out. Today's kind of an interesting video. We got Jared and the Honda pulling in doing all types of cool shit. And what are we doing today? Putting those bad boys on here. Aw, shit! And of course, he's got to do race car stuff. So, 18 inch wheels are going on the Honda. We're going to see what it's like because right now he sort of has some semi stock suspension on here. We're going to go ahead and close up the garage door. Hope that the garage door doesn't take out the trunk of his car. Shouldn't. Shouldn't. But, yeah, we're good. I keep thinking for some reason this thing's big, but it actually isn't. What? This thing's like small. Yeah. This is like three quarters of my Camaro. <laughs> but, like, seriously, front bumper, back bumper. Just wait until the license plate comes in. Everybody will enjoy that. Oh, yeah, the license plate's gonna be dope. <laughs> yeah. Yo, this camera is so much nicer. I told you. Yeah, I just need yeah. to upgrade to this. We're using we're using my phone right now because his is dead and he's enjoying my camera quality. Oh heck yeah, yeah. I have the A plus. Yay. Actually here, hold on. Alright, so I guess we're gonna have to grab the jack wherever it is. Oh, it's all the way over there. Let's see. Behind the snowblower. Yeah. Oh. But well now that we got this in the garage, we can actually take a better look at it more than the other video. So what what we got? 2000 Honda Civic EX. What did he say? What's done to it? Uh, short throw shifter, headers, full two and a half inch exhaust to a MagnaFlow muffler, not a fart can. Cold air intake. Started dressing it up a little bit. Started trying to make the engine bay a little nicer. <sighs> you need to get that intake that I sent you. I'm telling you right now. That, that thing's nice. Okay, but I'm telling you right and now. Here's, here's the magnifying muscle. With the, with the flooding we just had, I won't be getting anything else. Well, what we got here, I about lost this car. Yeah. Well, no, I'm not talking about like replacing this. This is all right. I'm talking about replacing this back section. Oh, you're talking about the intake manifold? Yeah, the Skunk 2 one that I sent you. True. That's like 400 bucks, but I got to figure out. That comes with like a 70 millimeter throttle body, which is a lot, a little bit bigger than what you got. I think you got like a 50 millimeter stock. I think so. Yeah, something like that. I got to get these cleaned up. Anthony wants to say, wants to put LEDs in them, see what they look like. Yeah. But I've never actually like seen, what is it, 6,000K LEDs inside of the yellow housing. Do they actually make like a 6,000, like a yellow LED? They do make a yellow LED, but I don't know if it's illegal or not because it's a lot brighter. Well, I mean, it well, has I mean, yellow say, headlights in it already and they are pretty bright, so. I mean, Anthony bright. did have green and he didn't get pulled over twice. My dad's had yellow in his money car. No, he had, he, had, he had green and he had to go back down to the St. Joe County Police Department to prove that he took the headlights out before he got ticketed mm -hmm. and had the car impounded. Nice. <laughs> so anyways, with this thing, I'm ordering paint this week for this, I'm getting this done. I got my transmission issue figured out. I gotta wait for another nice day and, we got and a battery. Door pins. Do what? And we got free door pins. And door pins, yeah. Oh, except, oh. except I was looking into that yeah. and I still have to spend $17 on door pins because the bottom door pins are like trash. Oh, so those are the upper? Yeah, those are for the upper. Hey, and if I go, if I go and put those in, less than what you were going to. Oh so. yeah, yeah. We found it in a junkyard, five finger, of course, you know. Fuck it. Yeah. And it's cold. Mm -hmm. it is. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna get these tires mounted real quick, and hopefully, these things look baller. So we'll go right back into it after this. All right. So, we started getting the wheels on the car, and so far, it looks pretty good, but we ran into an issue. But first, before I show you that issue, I'm going to show you the difference in size between the two wheels. So, those are the new wheels. Let me roll over this dinky-ass stock wheel real quick, just to kind of show you all the difference in size. So... You got that little guy there, and you got that big guy right there. 
then you got boom <laughs> so there's quite a bit so anyways let me roll this on back here and up against the Camaro sorry baby girl so anyways why can't we get the front ones on today the offset is different than the front it's, uh, I can't remember what the offset is but basically the lug nuts and everything are not gonna work out so basically the lug nuts on these wheels are the factory ones yeah they're, they'll ba they're, they'll ba they're basically out far enough to where they'll fit but let me show you on these ones here as you can see with this side right here the resting place for where the lug nut has to go is deeper down so you have to get special lugs in order to fit them yeah i mean we have some but we went on a manhunt earlier to try to find some keys for them and got none so we didn't know about this until late last minute and then all the auto parts stores are closed so, this is about to be a two-day special video. With no sleep, and I have to be to work at 5.30 in the morning, and it is probably like after almost 12.30. Yeah, I gotta wake up at like 6 in the morning, so. We will come back to this video. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. And hopefully it'll be done. After this next spot here. Maybe even spacer. We will be pulling the car back into the garage and going from there. So, yeah. Ooh, that focus is pretty nice, though. Oh, I told you. Oh, yeah. You can see, like, the wrinkles on my thumb pretty cool. I oh, like that. So Dumb. All right. So, <laughs> the next part of this video will be us coming back and finishing up the dopeness of the Civic and doing dope things with some... XXR wheels. 18 inch XXR wheels. 18 inch XXR wheels. By the way, Those down. so good in the back. God, we need to get these all done. In everybody's honest opinion, I have to know, for a front wheel drive car, would you want the more offset in the front or the back? I guess it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's gonna it, it's gonna stick out the same. It's just the lugs. I would think the offset, more offset, should be in the front because it's a front-wheel drive car. Dude. Dude. Well. You literally got rid of all of your fucking... Wheel gap? Yeah. But it looks like I'm probably monster trucking. Your, uh, your wheel gap literally <laughs> is like a finger's width, and I'm touching the top of your fender right now. Like right in the that little just... lip. So that's going to be uber close. How, am I, how bad am I monster trucking? Not bad. Don't look bad. God, I really hope the suspension is as stiff as I think it is. That's going to be interesting. I think it is. Yeah. The car rides pretty... I mean... Alright. Alright, well... Anyways, as I said, we'll cut back into the video for daytime. Maybe if I get out of work early enough, and you do too. Right. Where's the flashlight at? Mm, good question. I think it's right there. Yes, sir, go ahead and grab that real quick. I want to see if I can light the ass end of this up. <gasps> oh. Stressful smoke. Stressful smoke. Alright, guys. I said it like four times already. We'll be back next. And we are back with uh, day two. And as you can see, the wheels are not on the car. Jared, <laughs> you mind explaining? <laughs> They're too big. Too big. Like, literally. They're 18s and they rub horribly. Yeah, they're rubbing pretty bad in the wheel well. So, 
Two things happened no, today. Not. Thing number one. Far right down. El Donko got some rims. Huh? And let me see if I can get a light on these because it's dark out and it sucks. There's no and, way you are. Oh, there we go. Kind of. I'll do a daytime video of these, but I said, you know what? It's time. I had to treat her. I had to treat her nice, so she got she got them rims, and then Jared went and got himself some uh, new ones, new rims, Smaller like ones. brand new rims, and they're in this box right here, and y'all ain't even ready for this. Yo, Bill. Yo. what up, fam? Sup? <laughs> so we're gonna show you these. These are dope so those are what's going to end up going on the car tires whether are tires are getting put on these rims tomorrow do you but figure out what size you're doing i am going to go i'm not stretching them yet not until we get the camper kit all the suspension work done so you're going to end up buying two sets of tires pretty much these tires will probably get burned up by the time i get the other side <gasps> okay yeah. plus on top of that being stock right height they won't look good with it being stretched Oh, them LED tails, though. Go ahead and shut them oh. off. Shut the car off. And then we're putting my subs back in today. And he got some big old subs, too. I couldn't fucking use them because we had issues. So, anyways, while we're in the garage, I can actually get a decent picture of the interior of this thing. So, he's got his oil gauge there. He's got a volt gauge that's going to end up going in here. Pioneer double in. Weighted shift knob, pretty decent. But yeah, other than that, it's a pretty clean interior. That's about the only fault right there on the door. That's it. Other than that, interior is immaculate. It's dope. Yeah, got vape lord over here going through this. Oh dope. God. What the fuck, Richard? Richard? I had to think about it for a second. Richard. Who the fuck is Richard? I don't know who the fuck Richard is. <laughs> I don't know. I, uh, I don't know. Only running on four to five hours of sleep, by the way. <laughs> Yay. Hashtag Red Bull Power. Oh, dude, I'm drinking the shit out of those things. Red Bull Power. Also, can't really tell. I also got my fence in. So, that's going to get done also. Get rid of all this shitty ass chain link. It can go get bent, literally. Oh, he said something about Jeremy at the shop, or Jeremy threw one way or something like that, by the way, Billy. Oh, he did? Yeah, he was mentioning something about um, getting all of Jeremy or something. So if that's the case, then... Oh, he's going to get a hold of Jeremy? No, I will too, but... Oh. I might just end up going to a shop and be like, hey, tires, how much? don't fuck them up. How much you gonna do these for stretching? I swear to God. Stop. I'm not stretching them yet. Not yet. Right. Not time to put these on. Yep, these are gonna be up for sale. Sadly. But it's gotta happen. Well, they fit in my car. <laughs> no, they're four log breath. 4x1. 14.3 and 4x100. He's one lug away from it fitting his car. <laughs> but yeah. They were nice. And they are nice. They just don't fit. Nope. Nope. So, all right. Anyways, so I guess we're going to end the video here. Hopefully, the next time we make one, he'll have rims on this thing. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. And then Tomorrow. I'll be able to get a daytime video of that thing back there. Get more in depth on that thing over there. Yeah. And so on and so on. Slow process. Slow process. All right. So I should have known. I should have known those weren't gonna fit. Yeah. Damn it. It's okay. Yeah. Oh well. I'll make my money back and put actually have. See, that's the cool thing. I'll have my money back and I'll have actually something brand new. Yeah. Throw them back up. Ooh. Do it. Do it. Ooh. No. No. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're out. Oh, Bill, let's do the cool ending.
We'll see you next time. Oh, oh, oh. Did you fuck it up? I might have. Motherfucker! Take two. Send it.